March 1942. Doolittle assembled his team at Elgin Field, Florida. The men arrived with very different attitudes. Some were proud to be associated with such a famous flyer. One was Dick Cole. Very nice to know that you were flying with the best pilot in the world at that time. Another was Bob Height. Jimmy was a very special aviator. He just had more grit than anybody else that we knew of. But Ed Saylor had never heard of Doolittle until now. There was no heroics involved in that volunteering for a dangerous mission. I didn't know what I volunteered for. What pulled these very different men together was a common commitment to the war effort. It was a, a dangerous mission from which they might not return. Well, in those days, that was the way you thought. I'll go, let's go. And that was the attitude of most people. But they faced a huge challenge. Nobody had ever attempted anything like this before. As the crews explored the possibilities of their B-25s, one problem emerged almost immediately. The aircraft could take off from a carrier, but it couldn't return from it. There was no way a B-25 could come back to a carrier and make a safe landing. The big difference was fighters were small and maneuverable. Their wings could be folded for easy storage. But bombers had fixed wings and were too big to be stowed below deck. If the raid was to work, the bombers wouldn't be able to return to the carrier. They'd have to fly on to the nearest friendly landing strip. But that was not as simple as it sounded. 